Well, my wife and I just got back from picking up our inflatable kayaks from BoatsToGo.com. The models we bought were the three, PK365, and that has a pedal drive, and you strap a uh, beach chair in it for a chair. So, uh, anyway, here's what they look like in the car. If you can see them, it might be a little too bright here. There you go. Uh, the whole package is about 66 pounds each. Uh, because they've got the pedal drive and everything packaged in there and we're getting ready to unbox them and see if we bought a quality inflatable or a piece of junk and we're going to let you know see you later so here's the uh kayak in the box and you can show them the box Susie, if you mm -hmm. want uh this is probably the last time it will ever be this small since an, it's an inflatable but we'll see uh it's got the uh, the kayak itself. Uh, it's got the pedal drive in here, and it's got a pump, and it's got the uh, aluminum bench that the pedal drive hooks to, and it looks like those are the props for the pedal drive, which is in here. The uh, box was a little beat up, but it came a long way. It what I don't think anything is damaged, that as far as I can tell. But uh, we're going to get this thing rolled out, and before we air it up, we'll do another little clip. <laughs> so it's got a uh, proprietary valve on it uh, for use with this hose and this hand pump. But we've got a Ryobi inflator that we're going to try to rig to uh, blow it up. This valve has a spring-loaded pin. And it comes with an instruction booklet. You turn it when the spring is out. That's when you can air it up and pull the thing off without it letting the air out. This one's partially aired up, but not all the way. So we're just hooking this on here. And I'm basically holding this to this to air it up. As far as the quality of the thing, so far... It's very heavy marine vinyl, very uh, uh, similar to like the big heavy rubber rafts you see the military using. It's probably not that thick, but it sure feels like it is. I don't think I'd want to be doing this with the hand pump. It only gets about three or four pounds of pressure on the tubes and 10 pounds of pressure in the floor. Okay, so uh, we've got the thing basically uh, aired up, but it still seems a little soft. And the funny thing is, they tell you 10 pounds per square inch on the, or on the floor, and then like 3.8 on the tubes, but they give you no way to measure that. Our inflator here, which is a super great thing to invest in, by the way, it's a Ryobi deal. It, if I'm airing up a tire, you can set it for the pressure and it'll stop right at the right pressure. But when you use the inflatables side for like an inflatable bed or something like this, when you're using this hose, it won't let you set the pressure. And so I thought I'd finish off with the hand pump, but the hand pump doesn't have anything to measure the pressure either. But since I'm used to doing bicycle tires and everything else, I'm hoping that I can just fake it and get it right. I don't know why they give you that amount and then not give you a way to do it. As you can see, it uses a beach chair and we already had this beach chair and they just strap down just like so over these cross members. And then right here is where your pedal drive is gonna go. You can adjust it a little bit as far as where you're setting back and pedaling your thing. So. We're going to keep airing it up and get it up tight. And I don't know if I'm going to set it up on some SAR horses and put the pedal drive in it or not. It just depends on how much daylight I've got here. But we are going to try it out this week, and we're going to get a video of that too. Okay, so uh, got it up here on the uh, SAR horses. This thing is as hard as a rock. And all I did was use the hand pump to top it off till it felt tight. And it, I'm very impressed. Um, we put the fins on it down underneath. They're just hard rubber plastic fins that slide in. This is the uh, pedal mount 
your hooks to this bench up here. And uh, so you know, slide the bench in before you air it up, okay? Because we had to let most of the air out and put it back in because it was too tight a fit. I had heard that before and I'd forgotten about it. So the pedal drive, when you fold it all up, this folds up and this folds down. It's all self-explanatory. You pull a pin, stick it in another hole and it's fine. But uh, this is how you mount it. Pretty easy. And then you just set it in here. Sets in this little slot and then they lock in place so it doesn't come out. This little thing here kind of keeps, uh, I guess, the water from splashing up on you as much. But this is how it sits, just like that. And uh, if you look below, you can see what you got. The prop is a nice, heavy rubber prop. Uh, it's not something plastic that's gonna break off. Oh, by the way, it also came with an extra uh, air valve. You've got three of these valves. And so if one of them becomes defective, you've got a spare one right here, which is kind of cool. And now we just got to mount the pedals and we've got all our hardware and Allen wrenches and stuff right here to do that. This probably weighs as much as the kayak. It probably weighs 30 pounds on its own, but you can always have this off, take it off real easy. Just pop this out, pick it up. It folds up here but you could take it out and lay it over in somewhere in your truck and then load this in your truck. Because this, this is really light. And that's one reason we got these. Oh, the whole thing came wrapped up in this bag right here. So you fold it all up, set it here, fold this over, fold that over, tie the straps, fold these two over, tie the straps. And uh, that way you're not having to stuff it in some little tight bag somewhere thought that was pretty cool so I told you I would explain to you what this is this is a repair kit and it has a little wrench in here that is I don't know if it's either I think it's to if you have to replace one of these valves with that replacement valve or it might be a, a prop wrench I'm not sure which so I'm not gonna worry about that right now uh, give you an idea how the pedal drive works forward or backwards well it's a couple days later and uh, it hasn't warmed up quite as much as we'd hope it's fall here in Tennessee it's about 64 degrees outside water temperature in the lake is supposed to be about 65 or so and uh, a little cooler than we usually do when we go out with a kayak especially with the wind blowing like it is today but uh, Susie and I are going to take the uh, uh, inflatable Saturn uh, kayak out and with the pedal drive and we're gonna see if we can figure out how to get in it get out of it without killing ourselves and uh, get everything adjusted right we did order some new chairs and I uh, can't remember the names right now but I'll put a link in the video for them uh, the beach chair idea just doesn't seem to get it uh, because they have arms on the chairs and I could not figure out in a way in the world how I'm supposed to get in and out of that kayak with those arms in the way. Because the way I've always gotten into my fishing kayaks was to kind of turn around and put my butt in the seat and then flip my legs up on the thing. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I think these seats will be a lot better for that. Uh, they weren't cheap. They were about $100 a piece, but they're very nice chairs. So uh, we'll uh, check that out and I'll get back with you here in a minute. Okay, so we, uh, we're here at the lake. It's a little breezy. Uh, we carried the kayak down here to the pea gravel bank without the pedal drive on it. The pedal drive weighs as much as the kayak does. It's steel. It's made out of steel, not aluminum. And so uh, uh, we brought it down, put the drive in. We've got our new seat on. And we've had to, Susie and I are both, I'm five foot six, she's five foot. And so I had to adjust the seat all the way up as far as it would normally go in order to use the pedals, because I've already tried it. Getting in and out is not bad. Uh, it might be a little easier if I set the seat down on the lower setting, but I kind of like where it's at. So I'll let you guys watch this, and if I fall in, you guys get a big laugh out of it.
this just folds down into there. You got to make sure the prop is turned the right way. If, if it's not, you can't get it back out. So. And I also installed the two fins. There's a fin in the front and a fin in the back. Just, it just fits right in. any further the motor won't go down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this one side so that strap is loose so I can kind of sit here matter of fact I'm going to loosen both sides there you go and unlike uh, the fishing kayak this thing is you I mean you can't sink it so I meant literally put one foot in Setting over here in the seat. I'm kind of hitting the pea grab a little bit, but I think I can get out of it. I am not keen on these straps on the pedals. You'll notice when you look up the other videos on this kayak, they never show the guy getting in and out with the beach chair. That's got to be an absolute bear of a task. I don't know how you'd get in one with, if it had arms on the chair. So it's Susie's turn with the kayak now. No hands. <laughs> now here comes a big boat going to fly by her over there. <laughs> Susie said she'll blow them out of the water. But the uh, you do need the oar to steer, and uh, a, a paddleboard uh, oar would work great. But we already had the nice kayak paddle, so we're probably just going to keep them. It goes backwards, forwards, but if you are short, like we are, you're gonna have to take that seat up just as far as you can take it, or you won't be able to reach the pedals. And uh, I mean, it, it. when you're in it, you don't feel like you're going very fast, but actually you are. I'm gonna back up here so you can see. She's, she's moving at a pretty good clip. Hey, Susie, go more sideways so they can see. There you go. She's moving faster than I ever moved in my regular fishing kayaks with just an oar. And the other thing I was surprised about is how much exercise my upper thighs were getting. This is uh, more... It's a different set of muscles than I use when I'm on my bicycle because I'm. This is a recumbent situation. So anyway, uh, that's our video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it keeps you in form a little bit better than what the videos they have on the deal uh, on the internet. But I, I really do suggest that you get a seat that straps on that does not have arms in it. It makes it so much easier to get in. You guys take care. Bye.